limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left of h of x. Well, that's values less than negative 2, which puts us on this domain here. And that means as x goes towards negative 2 from the left, it will be on this function the entire time. So h should head towards what 3x minus 2 equals. And at negative 2, this equals negative 8. As we approach negative 2 from the right, that means we're on this interval now. x is larger than negative 2. We're headed to negative 2 from the right. So our values are getting closer and closer to negative 2 from the right. And it should approach, h of x should approach what x cubed equals at negative 2. And that is also negative 8. So the limit as x goes to negative 2 of h of x is negative 8. Because, let's draw a little graph here. Okay, graphs always help. At negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is just a rough sketch. At negative 2, the right-hand side is headed towards negative 8. The left-hand side is headed towards negative 8. Both sides are zooming in. Now, I don't know what's happening at negative 8, because that's not what the limit's asking. The limit's saying what's happening as we approach negative 8. So both sides, I'm sorry, negative 2, because both sides are approaching negative 8 as x approaches negative 2. But at negative 2, we got, we got to figure out what's going on there. Well, h of negative 2, well, it says when x equals negative 2, I'm supposed to plug into this function. When I plug into this function, I get the square root of 6. Now, the square root of 6 is somewhere between 2 and 3. So that means h of negative 2 is up here somewhere. Well, check this out. Our function goes to negative 8, jumps to positive 2, or not positive 2, positive root 6, and then goes back down to negative 8 and keeps going. So it's not continuous. It jumps to a different point. It does not end up where it's headed. So, no. 